Today you've joined hundreds of established and emerging writers who are discovering ways to reach their writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. You're listening to Ann Croker, Writing Coach. This is episode 86, Your Writing Platform, First Steps to Launching Your Social Media Presence. When people talk about building a platform, they often immediately think of social media, And I suppose it's because the word platform is often used to describe them. Facebook is a social media platform. Twitter is a social media platform. It's referring more to the technology that makes it possible for that service to run. No wonder it's confusing then to talk about our writing platform and then toss the words social media into the mix. We can build a writing or author platform in many ways unrelated to social media efforts. But today, I want to start discussing a first few steps you can take to experiment with social media as one element of your platform building efforts. Today, I'd like to talk about first steps to launching your social media presence. Because, oh man, just think about it. We have right at our fingertips avenues to reach out into the world to anyone with internet access. We can meet people, share information and resources with them, participate in a group discussion, offer encouragement and support, all while sitting at home or a coffee shop. It's crazy when you think about it. And it would be crazy to not at least explore the possibilities. And possibilities, oh man, there are so many new social media options popping up. It's hard to keep up. So we'll have to see what's next and what audience it best serves. Maybe we're bold enough to be an early adopter to one new upstart. And just when we get used to how it operates, it might evolve into something unrecognizable from what we've known or fade and simply disappear. Others stay strong. I mean, at the time of this recording, Facebook doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Pinterest and Instagram are expanding. YouTube and LinkedIn continue to serve a strong purpose. Twitter is still in the game. It is tempting to jump into several at once. Either we resolve to learning it all, or we're pressured to do so by industry experts who insist we have got to have a presence here and there or on this and that platform. So you click around and you try to understand how they all work and then you end up confused, struggling to keep up, and overwhelmed by the activity required. Instead of going slow, you're spent. You're sick of it. Nothing seems fun or friendly. Forget it. Okay, listen, if you're like me and you're a one-man or a one-woman show, you will feel overwhelmed if you try to tackle it all at once. It's too much to juggle a lot on your own and sustain the efforts required over time, especially while you're trying to pull off all the other aspects of writing and pitching and whatever else your writing efforts require. So take a deep breath. We don't all have to be Gary Vaynerchuk, who's on every social media platform out there. I want you to stay curious, creative, and productive, and if poking around and testing the waters on Twitter and Instagram feels like fun, go for it. But if you lean toward being overwhelmed by the thought of continual activity and that sucks the life out of you, there's no need to rush. Instead, let me offer a simple approach that positions you to expand later if you choose. Establish a bare minimum presence at each of the big social media platforms by simply setting up your username and profile at the places that you think sound fun or useful or where your readers will hang out. Many writers, maybe most writers, are building a brand or an online presence based on their name. So that's a good place to start when setting up your profile. See if you can snatch your name at these various social media services. Now this may take a few days because you'll want to read up about how each of these services works and you'll want to fill out the bio section, add your website or whatever contact information you're comfortable sharing with the world. Almost all of these, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, they're all, they're all going to grow best when we're actively adding content and interacting with people. And as I said, I don't want you to be completely overwhelmed. So don't go crazy tweeting or setting up an Instagram schedule if you don't intend to keep it up right away. Simply having your profile there, ready and waiting for the day you'll have time to invest, for the day you feel like a social platform seems fun and playful, is enough for now. We'll talk next time about a sustainable social media effort for newcomers to these spaces, but I'd like to leave you with this little story. A month or so ago, I was telling a friend that of all the social media platforms I'm on, I spend the least amount of time at LinkedIn. Years ago, I set up my profile with basic information, made sure to mention writing coach, and sort of let it be. It was like a crockpot. I just set it and forget it. Two days after I mentioned this to my friend, I received an inquiry about my coaching services. 
This writer and I discussed the possibilities of working together, and as we were winding down the conversation, I asked, how did you hear about me? At first, he said he Googled writing coach and found me that way, and then he said, no, wait, I think I found you first on LinkedIn, and then I Googled you to find out more. LinkedIn, the neglected platform, helped someone find me. Isn't that crazy? I mean, crazy amazing? I make an effort to tweet links and updates on Twitter and engage on Facebook. I'm having fun learning how to best use Instagram. I pin on Pinterest. But how fun to find out that somebody found me and sought me out because of my set it and forget it profile over at LinkedIn. So if you're new to social media, try my simple startup plan. Take time to learn the very basics of setting up a profile at the places you think your reader will be and places that you think you'll enjoy. And for now, that's enough. You're simply positioning yourself for phase two. Now, by all means, continue engaging with people in the places you already enjoy and understand. I mean, that's why they call it social media. Get social in the year ahead. Just don't sweat it when you set these up. Set it and forget it for now. I'm Ann Croker cheering you on as a writing coach in your ear. Everywhere we may meet, at my website, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, here on this podcast, or even in person, I'm always looking for ideas to share with you that will help you achieve your writing goals and have fun by being more curious, creative, and productive. Thank you for listening.